approach. This is the first time we've done this a couple of times, but this is the first time that we've done this with a 17-game schedule, an 18-week season. How differently is the approach to this season, even though, you know, yeah, add just only one game? I don't think it's a lot different. I do think um, as you get to the second half of the season, we all have to be cognizant of where our team is at from a health standpoint, from an energy standpoint, and uh, make the appropriate adjustments. But we've always had to do that. We just have to do it one week longer. First time the Broncos have had back-to-back road games to start the season since 2003, and they're on the East Coast in New York and Jacksonville. What type of challenges does that present a team when you're just starting out a season? Well, I don't think it presents much of a challenge. I mean, we've got 17 games. In this case, nine of them are going to be home. Eight of them are going to be on the road. We really don't care what order they give them to us in, but um, hopefully we can come back home with a couple of victories and our third game here will be pretty exciting. That third game is against the New York Jets and two out of those first three games are against rookie head coaches with rookie quarterbacks. How differently does the preparation become when you've got coaches who you you don't really have much tape on and quarterbacks that you don't have much tape on? It becomes different because usually this time of year once the schedule comes out you start working on your first couple opponents. The Giants being our first game their staff stayed intact. I think things will I mean, everybody does new things in a different year, but the basis of their offense and defense and kicking game will stay the same. But then we have Jacksonville the second week. That's a totally new thing. So, you know, we'll only have one regular season game to look at prior to the game. So it's kind of guesswork to do a lot of preparation this time of year. And then we have um, the Jets, who, uh, again, a whole new staff. So. Those guys do, though, have come from other places to where we think we kind of know what their offense and defense will look like to a certain degree. So we'll, able to, we'll be able to do some planning. I know when we've done this in past years, you said the order doesn't matter as much as the status of the team when you play them. So in looking at the status of the AFC West right now, a lot of the same faces with the notable exception of Brandon Staley in Los Angeles. So when you look at the AFC West big picture in 2021, that division, what do you see? I see a lot of offense, um, you know, obviously Mahomes in Kansas City, Herbert with the Chargers, Carr with the Raiders, you know, you'd probably be hard pressed to find another team that has three harder quarterbacks to go against within their own division. So, and they've got a lot of good offensive weapons and uh, all three teams do. And uh, we'll have our work cut out for us in this division. It's probably the uh, toughest division in football right now. Five of those last seven games are against AFC West opponents. You finish with Kansas City at home. You have nine home games this season. How much are, how much are you looking forward to having fans back in the stands and getting that home field advantage that you missed last year? Yeah, really looking forward to that. Um, all sports, but especially football, has uh, dampened a little bit or a lot of bit when uh, you have no fans. And uh, especially at our place where – we hope to have 70-some thousand in there, and we have great fans. And they help us win games, and uh, we're looking forward to having them back. Last thing for me, Coach, this week, rookie minicamp. Next week, phase two of the offseason training program. From an educational standpoint, because I know it's not going to look like football here in these next couple of weeks, from, an, from a teaching standpoint, how much are you looking forward to these next couple of weeks, and how important are these next couple of weeks? They're all important. They're all part of the puzzle. And... Um, these rookies are going to come in here. We're only going to have about 27 guys in this first camp, so it makes it hard to make it look like a normal practice. And it's going to be a lot of teaching going on, both in the classroom and on the field. And it's a good start to laying the foundations for these young guys to learn our systems and learn the NFL game. Coach, I know you got a lot of work to get to. We appreciate your time. Thank you. All right, thank you.